Hello, in this video I'm going to explain why hypnotherapy doesn't work, but also why it does always work. Now that's a complete contradiction, isn't it? And that is the whole point of this video. I'm going to explain this in a very basic and simple way, and I'm oversimplifying hypnotherapy to the extreme here. So let me put it in its most basic form and explain why it doesn't work, and why that means it always does okay so I work with driving anxiety I help people overcome the fear of driving so I'll use that as an example so to put it very very simply in a very basic way all you do to get rid of someone's problem is you have to find two thoughts in their mind that contradict each other so over here we've got imagine this is like the whole mind brain whatever you want to call it this area here in front of me, this whole area here is on the mind. And here there is a thought, I can't drive a car. And over here there is a thought, I can drive a car. So this one thinks I can't drive, this one thinks I can. These two things cannot exist in the same place, can they? You can't think that you can drive and that you can't drive. You can't be hot and cold at the same time. You can't be too fat and too thin at the same time. These things can't exist in the same place. So all hypnotherapy does is it helps you find those two beliefs. And I always like to imagine it like putting them in a boxing ring. It's like, I can't drive comes into the ring, and I can drive comes into the ring. And when they see each other, it's like, what? Huh? What? I, I can, but I can't, but I can, but I can't. And this is when people go into trance, start the classical, Ooh, because their mind gets so overwhelmed with these thoughts of can, 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 can. It just kind of cuts you off and your mind just goes like that. Not everyone does that kind of trance. That's quite rare. Probably 10% of people do that. But that's what people imagine hypnosis to be. They always imagine people going into this trance. That's when you found these two opposite ideas and it kind of knocks people out, which is why I think of it like, like a boxing match. So, with that in mind, excuse the pun, why does that mean hypnotherapy doesn't work? Well, it's the thing is, it's not that it doesn't work, it's just that it is incredibly difficult to find these two beliefs. It's not as simple as saying to someone, oh, you think you can't drive? Well, you can. Oh, I can. Oh, it's fixed. Problem gone. <laughs> it takes a lot of skill. It takes months, years of training. The amount of books I've read, the amount of videos I've watched, hundreds of hours of videos, dozens of books, hours and hours and hours of training with people all over the world. It's not easy to do. So when hypnotherapy doesn't work, it's when the therapist, it's not always their fault, but it's when the therapist or the client can't find these two contradicting things. So you see, if you find these things, it works. But if you can't find them, it doesn't work. And that's why people say, well, I did hypnotherapy and it didn't work. It's not that it didn't work. It can work for everyone and it will work for everyone if you find these two things that contradict each other. There is more to it than that. Again, I'm very much simplifying this to keep this video fairly basic. But if you get into this in deep, deep level. You can go so deep, it's just unbelievable. But quite simply, think of it like having a car, like someone's put a car outside your house and they've dropped a thousand car keys on the floor and have said, you've got one hour to find the key that works in the car. And if you can find the key, you can keep the car. You might try 800 different keys and still not find the right one but that doesn't mean that the key isn't there and you might give up and say that was a rip-off it was a con it didn't work I don't believe all this keys can't start cars of course keys can start cars <laughs> they always have it's just that you haven't found the right key and people say well I've tried three four five different people doesn't matter you might try 800 out of a thousand keys you might try 999 keys out of a thousand and they don't work and the last one you do does so you see that's why hypnotherapy doesn't work it does work and it's not the practitioner's fault it's not it was my fault 
not always the client's fault. You have to work together to come to this conclusion. So you have to find the right questions and the right things, bring them into the boxing ring, and then that's when you can get the result. It isn't even that simple because, of course, you might have been thinking this, what if the wrong one wins the boxing match? What if I can't drive beats I can drive? That is for another video, and that can get very complicated. <laughs> but quite simply, hypnotherapy does work. I've had it done on me. When you train as a hypnotherapist, you have to have it done. I've been through loads of sessions. There is nothing I do with a client that I haven't done on myself. And we all practice together. All hypnotherapists practice on each other. And without going off topic, without getting into this too much, there are many, many different styles of hypnotherapy. There's not just one way. People say to me, how do you become a hypnotherapist? Well, there's about probably 10 million ways you can do it. But it's not just a case of take a course and get a certificate. That's for another video. That's for lots of other videos. But not every therapist is the same. Some use many different methods to others. Some are far more effective than others. But that, like I say, is for another video. But that answers the question of why doesn't hypnotherapy work? It does work, but you've got to find the right pieces of the puzzle and pull them together in the boxing ring or you won't get the result. I don't always manage to do it. No one's perfect. No therapist is perfect. And the best in the world can't always find the right answer. But again, that's for the videos. So check out these other videos on the screen now for help with your driving anxiety. Get in touch with me using the link in the description. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you again soon for more videos.